Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again and we're coming back now with, hopefully, the last one. Fingers crossed. So what I've done, I've gone and I've cut all the white mats that I'm going to be using for the recipe cards. I've, I've added them. So we're going to add designer series paper now. So it's just to save on... Uh, I didn't put. I just put tags in this one. I I took that buckle out with the sticky tape on. It was doing me head in because I could see it all. So I'm just going to add DSP on the fronts. I will use the backs then with my white marker pen, uh, my white pen, yes, gel pen, and then we're going to add DSP just to the fronts. So if I take them out, we can decide what DSP. I've also done um, card on the inserts. Some I've got them on the back, some haven't, and I've done the ones for the inside ones because you don't want to sit and watch me just to add white cardstock to, so I can write the word recipe or um, the name of the recipe, the method, the ingredients, how to cook and then the method. So I've got places there for two at least, maybe even three. And like I say, these short cards will have quick recipes on, you know, like for starters, uh, finger food. So years ago I used to do it, and I'm holding it like this and this upside down because that's the right way around. So DSP. So I know these are all the same size. They are four by sixes. Well, they're actually four by twelves folded in half. So I need three pieces at three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then I'm going to, let me just measure these. One is slightly smaller, or is it? No, oh, they're two of the same size. That one is slightly bigger, but let's say I'll cut it down. These are five and five eighths by three. Cute little cards. So let's get some, oh, and I couldn't resist. I needed a photo to start uploading the album. So I have already added my papers just to the front and I used the card that came with it. And I use the word recipe in the center. I've put some corners on. I haven't done anything else. I haven't done the back and I haven't done the spine yet, but I needed a photograph so I could upload. So I did this and took a photo of this. But when the book is complete, I'll have it standing up with all the pages inside. So it's absolutely divine. I think this is the best cover I've ever made so far. The corners are beautiful and I've, d I've, I've done it perfect. I can't believe how, you know, just by watching a few other people doing it correctly that I managed to do it myself. So, I've got all the little bits. Don't throw these, please. <laughs> so, I've even kept these pieces. You know, these were off the actual back of the thingy. So, you never know. Some of these might fit on here. Oh, it's a little bit short. But, we could always take a trim off and then add a little piece of white on there, couldn't we? I just don't want anything to go to waste. And I've used, I used about 12 pieces of the normal um, DSP. So they are four, I need them to be four, three and three quarters. So I'm even gonna use this one, and I'll take that down to three and three quarters as well. Because I'm not going to let them go to, I mean, don't, I can't use them, but, you know what I mean, I just want to maximise the papers. So, let's get another piece while we're here. I love those little, so I'm using the pieces that I've got already, so let's have a look how wide this is. So that's three and a half, so I could cut that down for those cards, and I can put white on the back to two and three quarters. What did I say the length was? Five and five eighths. So we have five and three eighths. And I'm going to show at the end, probably do another video using these scraps up. So I can have that one on there. Oh, my bathroom window's open and something's just fell off. <laughs> and to save on all that glue, because I'm using quite a lot, I'm just going to use my ATG gun when it starts to scoop round and it's a beautiful day outside. 
so if needs be later I'll have to pop my little fan on because it's absolutely gorgeous today. Look at those cute little calves. Let's make sure we've got that on there perfectly. I'll add white card or maybe like I'm saying use my gel pen. So let's see what else we've got in our cut ups for now. Oh, that's probably not wide enough. That's only a two inch strip. But then who says we've got to have a quarter inch border? Let's uh, let's take that down to there. Let's give this one a hefty border. Oh, it looks like a chalkboard then, doesn't it? Oh, I love that. Love it! Love, love, love. I hope you're all having a gorgeous day. That would be perfect if you were. Love that! Wait there, let me get my white gel pen. And type. Menu. And then I could draw perhaps some other little symbols on there. That is so cute. I'm loving this pen. I love it, love it, love it. So we could even piece these pieces on that we've just cut off and do it like a little like a jigsaw puzzle. Cut that down. Oh that fit on there beautiful. Another piece. Have it all pieced up. I like that. Let's turn that that way. I could have a take a little trim off that. Let's put that that way. That can go that way. That one can stay that way. And just piece them up. Who says it's got to be all the same? Let's get the glue on this one. I'm just going to take a tiny little slither off that. Perfect. Loving it. little border. Let's pull those down there. Little slither off that one. Leave little gaps in between so you can see the black coming through. Perfect. Oh, I love it. So sweet. So, yeah, line that up, giving just a little tiny black border. Let's check this one for, di for width. I think that's going to be perfect. Uh, not the same height but it doesn't matter you're getting it on that is so cute perfect don't like waste so let's just pop that on love it Scissors. Even using these tiny little scraps 
but we're piecing it up. Maybe a bit too long, but I can do that before it goes off. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'm not going to bother with that bit there. I'm just going to leave that, I think. Where's my gel pen again? And then on this one, I'm going to put... Recipe! Ha! Ah. Just have fun. Do some mixing and matching. Don't let these little bits go to waste. So, we've got these as well. So let's get one of these added on here and see how much we need to add on as a strip. Beautiful. Perfect. Where's my ATG? Yeah, I thought I wouldn't bore you with all the white paper. So, I just thought I'd show you how I'm going to decorate the rest of it and what we're going to do with the layouts inside. Whoops. And you see the progress then. I love it. So I'm going to pop that against there just for a second. I'm just going to cut it off at that line there. In a straight line. <laughs> This was on top of my printer and I couldn't believe that I left it up there and I forgot all about it. I do like this ATG gun. Very sticky. And then once you squash it down, so there's the first one. I could even write in there. So let's... If it will. so sweet love it so there's one let's get another one done perfect and I'm loving the fact that they are double sided so you can spin them over just pick the best side you like This time I'm going to add this at the, t uh, the top and then we can have our little recipe thing at the bottom. Perfect. Don't even need a strip on this one. I'm just going to grab this. thinking about it so I'm leaving these to dry for a minute let's check this piece out wow that's the one it is so three and are we gonna have the little piggies I've got one with the little pigs on so if I have this gorgeous tile one along the edge again, that would help. Ah, 
Um, I am going to have to change my battery as well because uh, I started off and I knew it was low, so. But I've got one at the ready, so don't worry. And again, I'm just going to write on the top. Isn't that cute? Love it! And then we can um, just see if that's dry now. I don't want to smudge it. Yeah, that's dry. That's lush. We will need the trimmer back in a second. They can get... I need to put a piece of DSP down here. Oh, I wish I hadn't have done that now. Perhaps I should have... Maybe I could thumbnail that out after. I'm just going to rest that there so I don't stick anything down. Let's get some more papers. Oh, oh, and for this, I think I am going to use a piece of this, but I'm going to have this side because it's got the charts on it. Nice little border. Perfect. So if I slice the bottom off first. Oh, I can't get it in. Oh, that's naughty, isn't it? It's naughty. Got a bit of me trimmer in. <laughs> so where did I just mark that? There it is. And take that strip off and I can see there where it's marked at the top. And look, oh I didn't watch this. I got one of those little handheld rubbers. It's great for pencil but unlike the one Jennifer Maguire showed in hers, it doesn't get ink off unless she's got her one unless she's got the their sand erases in there because it didn't work on my project so this is the piece that's going in here perfect so let's get the ATG out and just pop that to one side That looks like it's got a full roll on it as well. So, look at the oh, I've got sticky there. Oh, I'll cut that out now with the thumbnail. I just won't press in that area. I need to come up just a touch. That's it. No, gain it. Pick it. Oh, I see. Why do I get it off? Why is that lock coded? It should be over there. Let me just use the bone folder. in that area it will stick to the back of that but I can take that out a second a piece of paper's just slopped in there and I can get this in but you should always do this after I need a little bit more I used a bigger one see 
Oh, well, that'll do. That'll do. I used the larger one, didn't I? So there's that. Hold on. Where's that piece of paper gone? It's in there somewhere. <laughs> it will pop out. So, there goes that piece. Let's just... It does fit, trust me. Unless it's catching on that piece of paper. There we go. That's not sticking, so thankfully. Whoo! Now let's get these gorgeous little booklets in there. So one is going down that end. Oh, I'm going to have that one in the middle actually, because these two have got right in at the top. So, oh, my elbow. So that one's going there. This one's going down here, and this one is going to pop up just behind them. So I've got three little slots there. Thank you. So you will go all the way down. Love it. Uh, we need a piece of paper there now. See if that's not wide enough. I'm going to mark it from the back because you won't see it then. So I'm going to cut that across there. And I'm going to cut that across there. So this should go in the trimmer now. There it is. There we go. Cute, isn't it? And there it is. I can see it there. Perfect. I've got to remember to put it in the right way round because this is upside down. Perfect. Hey, TG. Mm. Yeah, I might just go back to the glue in it. Love that. Now we need a piece that is going to complement. We've got a bit of red, so oh, look at that's the perfect width. So I'm going to have the stripes. Dippity, dippity, dippity. glue out is quicker. I love my ATG gun but it's loud, it's a pain in the bum and this goes on a lot quicker. And I like the stripes. Have I cut it the wrong? Yes I have. go. Oh, let's get me little stickers out. Um, there we go. I've got a nice little ticket goes right across the top there. It says favourites. We've got menu. We've got, oh there's the other one. Recipe, menu. And they can go straight in there. Uh, 
that's that page finished. Look, lovely, 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 lovely. We're going to add strips later to the sides. So that's pages one and two. What's that? It does get pencil off, but I've tried it and it doesn't get ink. So pages one and two. Now we come to this one. We put magnets under there. Oh, let me just get them gems. I forgot all about them. So, I'm going to put DSP on first, obviously. These were like candy canes, and they're going to go on top of where the magnets are, obviously in the middle. See if it gets glue off. No. <laughs> so, I already cut these two little uh, corner pieces. And what I did, I measured and just cut a square out and then just chop them corner to corner. So I've got a nice little border there. And I've already added the white there, so I can even write a recipe on there as well. So let's get these. I just cut them uh, an eighth of an inch shorter so I could have a nice little border. And then on the other ones I've got... I cut them a quarter of an inch smaller, so I've got a, a bigger border. And again, just cut them into squares and then slice them through the centre. And this one is three and three eighths. Beautiful. So now we just need DSP. I've even added DSP, not DSP, white cardstock to the inside uh, recipe cards. Again, I can use white gel pen on the back or I could add another piece of paper. So we need something now for underneath. And then we can add some on the top as well. And I think they just look so cute. So let's get rid of the ATGA for a minute. Let's find some papers we haven't used yet because we're using the same stuff. Um, we should really be spreading it about a bit. So let's decide. The chickens. Yes, most definitely. Yes, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. So those little flaps, these measure. Both of them measure four. I do apologise about that. I got so carried away and I was doing all this and I looked up and my screen was off and I thought, oh, my battery's died. So I'd ended up turning it round and I did cut out my thumbnail before I added it on to this piece. So the piece I've just cut off I know is now wide enough. So, oh, but then it's, it's, or is that the one? I think this is the one. So I am going to have to pot some pans on the front and I'm going to take this down just inside there so it doesn't have to go all the way down. Could you believe that? Me dabbing away to myself, enjoying what I'm doing, and never thought to look up at the battery. Why am I silly sausage? Perfect. So the spatulas will coincide with this gorgeous paper. So you've got pots and pans and spatulas. And I've got it just wide enough. Oh gosh, look, I didn't think of the thumb. Gaina, I like. <laughs> Come back. Don't worry, we can use this on another piece. 
So, would that tuck in there all the way? I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it like this. I'm just going to attach it here. And I'm just going to glue this top area. So, I'm going to come round. Because you're only putting stuff in uh, and sliding it back out again. So there's another way you can add DSP and make it look like it's going all the way down. Just get a bit on the corners. I've just seen the pencil mark. And it's gone. So this page is done too. We will be adding DSP strips later. So let's pop these little strips over there ready for when we do. And is that the one out of here? Yes, there's our recipe card for in here. And I haven't done the back side for that one yet. But like I say, that goes all the way down to the bottom. And then they've got these, that's where the magnet is. I've got a place for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven recipes, eight if I put some more on the back. And they all fold over and they get shook. So we need some DSP there. And I want some little stickers down here because it looks a bit plain otherwise. Uh, let's have flower in this corner and the milk one in the other corner oh now look at that you can pull those little dots out there you go good save the dots gainer red dot in that one and the blue one in that one there we go how cute are they oh my gosh I'm loving it there's not so many borders on this see I mean they've got a strip there but it's not really a border, is it? You've got little love hearts everywhere, but I could have done with some real nice border on there. So let's get to looking. Oh, look at that piece. It's just perfect. So I'm just going to take a slither off there. And I mean a slither about an eighth of an inch. So that's seven. An eighth. Did you say an eighth? Let's try another tiny little sliver. Let's push that up. That's perfect. Absolute perfect. Yes, yeah, so it did save a lot of time, otherwise and it took me about an hour. So you'd have been sat here for an hour watching me put white paper in. I mean, I suppose it's entirely up to yourselves if you just want to watch the mechanism and how we got to doing the papers in the first place. I love that, I think that's really cute. I love it, love it, love it, and hmm, what have I got on there that's black and white? I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to pop it down here that way 
I can print off a little, well, I can get someone to print me up a tiny little photo of the recipe that I add to this book. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that's wrong. You close this one first, then this one, and then this keeps that down. So that's that page done. That's that page done. Pages two and three, uh, three and four. Now we have pages five and six. <laughs> So with this one again, I'm going to have DSP. I'm going to have a, I might just do a strip of white for the bottom and a strip of DSP for the top because I don't want to waste all that. So this is uh, nine and three quarters. So if I do a white card at five by six and three quarters, because this is seven. So just grab a piece. At that size then I can have less and I've got space there at the top for my DSP so I'm going to just glue that obviously in there with a nice border perfect and then I've got my corners cut again for here and here and these are the ones I cut a quarter of an inch smaller again it's entirely up to you if you want small borders or big borders I like very small borders normally but I don't mind a big border either so I'm, mine's not really a preference you just see me actually do one near enough an inch all round. It just depends on what you want on the day and how your mood is taking you. So don't ever, don't let anyone say, oh, your borders are massive. It's your choice. You can choose to have your borders as big or as small as you want. And don't let anyone other ones tell you otherwise. If you've got something in your head and you want to express yourself, and I suggest, obviously if it's uh, to do with crafting, then craft away like mad. No one's ever going to, you're never going to get it wrong. You're always only going to get it right. Because in your, you only you know what it's meant to look like in your head. And don't let anybody judge you otherwise. Perfect. So that is, I know, you're probably thinking, oh, you can't write down there. I can write on that section. And I'm going to. And I've got a lovely little arrow here. In fact, I'm going to add it that way. How cute. I'm on my DSP. running the wrong way but I saw that. Oh I love that paper. And I'm gonna have the dots. So let me just see. Push that all the way up. That's gonna come off there. And this is gonna come off there. I was uh, getting, getting a bit lost then. There it is, I can see it. Love it, love it, love it. So the spots are going to go all the way up there. Tiny little border all the way around. It looks beautiful.
to the top all the way in perfect I mean, there's nothing stopping me from, you know, having a piece of paper, tucking it under there with this, which I've got on the front and back. So you just slide this in and just give this a little, little tuck and it will keep my recipe in place. But even if you weren't doing it for recipes, you can tuck that right up there. It's entirely up to you. It's not going to go anywhere though. Can you imagine this now with pictures all over it? You know, how beautiful. Uh, mm, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Love it, love it, love it. And then I've got another one here that says, you burn me up. Because um, there is a little one that says love, but it's in red. And I don't want it to get lost in there. So I'm going to take that little tip to the corner. How sweet is that? So we've got this page. And now we're on to this page. So I'm adding the strip in there. I've already added my DSP, it, my white, and these are staggered. They are one taller than the other. So I'm having DSP. Oh, and this opens up. So I've added all these white paste. So I've got enough there for two recipes. I've got one for there. I'm going to have DSP on there. I've got enough space there for one there. And I've staggered these. And they all need a small strip of paper, if you've noticed. So staggered, 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 staggered. And then these two are normal sizes. And then this comes over to keep everything closed. Perfect. So let's get our little pieces in. And that's what these strips are for. So that needs to, I could even just glue that over the top. Sounds like the wind is picking up. I can hear my living room door rattling. We leave the back door open all day long for the dogs. So they can come and go as they please. And they are pretty good like that. They've never had accidents. They just come and go as they want. Come back in when they want. Freedom. We need to be able to pop the toilet when we want, so we have to let them do the same. Perfect. Dots and stripes. Jamie, you do have other papers. Choose them. <laughs> so that one comes to the edge of it there. Perfect. Let's pick another piece. Let's have some of these. Are they long enough? No, not quite. That's not long enough in the slightest. This one is though. Cows are so mega cute, it's unreal. But I also like this pattern on the back. Perfect. 
that back. Neighbors are. wider at the one end than the other. It is. No, it's not, Kane. It's your eyesight. <laughs> I keep arguing myself. Doubting myself sometimes, but I shouldn't really. Perfect. Love it. Right. I need another little strip. Let's see, we can get those little fried eggs on there, they're gorgeous. Trend off of this one because I don't trust myself. <laughs> and I'm going to just chop that, what is that? That measures one and seven eighths, so if I just take that down to seven eighths. Enough for two. Even though I only need one. But they don't know how far under the white is, do they? Oh, that's a little bit too long still. That's cute, cute, cute. I'm going to add a strip along there. Let's get these little pots and pans. That's, that's the perfect height. But that's the perfect width. Y'all having fun? Uh, where's that mark gone? Where's that mark gone? There. Perfect. That little strip is going to go on there. How have I cut it short? Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know what's happening with me. What am I doing wrong? Gaina. Oh. Right. Where's my little chicken gone? It's there, but it's not big enough. So let's cut some more. Oh. Right. Just take it off to there. And then we only want about an inch or half an inch. You can always cut a little bit more off. Take this and just chop ourselves about that much because we don't need a lot. It's my mocky fingers. And we can add that. Fried eggs, though I love the fried. I love the chickens too. So 
So, I'm going to do this again in a minute. Not for the others. Perfect. That is so cute. The chicken recipe there. I'm going to do it in the centre of this. I know that I need, I'm not going to have it as thick as that one now. Maybe I'll have a row of fried eggs. I just want about that much. And I'm going to run this through the centre. So that roughly measures eight and three quarters. Four. If I put that across there, we can snip off the bar, uh, the little bit at the end. It's just so I can get two recipes on that large one then. So, that tune has got stuck in my head and it's been there for days and I cannot stop thinking about it and it's driving me up the wall. My dog actually loves it because she goes nuts thinking she's going to have a treat because I sing that to her when I'm going to give her a treat. <laughs> so she thinks it's treat time. So there we have it, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven recipes on there. Small ones, I know. I need a strip of paper for here. So I've just got that width just right, I think. I can trim that off. So if I get an inch and a half, Or an inch and a quarter, I think that'd be plenty. No, best go to inch and a half, gain a don't cut it too short, and then I have to cut more. Perfect. That can go across the top of there. Yep. Yeah. That can. And then we can. Slice that off there. Perfect. Perfect. It's great for just being a rubber, but it's not great for anything else. I'll have to look in to see if they, they do the sand eraser um, nibs because they're just plain rubbers. And all the typed in was in Amazon was battery operated erasers. And that fits there lovely. Perfect. Now a nice I want a nice piece here. I've got my pocket there. Strip a white, even on. Strip a red. How about that? Yeah, why not? Line that up there. Let's cut that off there. We've got that for something else then.
just been singing. I can't sing very well. I love that song. It's called Issues. I've got issues. I've got them too. I get my doing to do this thing. Perfect. Coming along, the decoration is coming along brilliant. Perfect. That is brilliant. And you know what? Where's my pen? Where's my gel pen gone? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I've got OCD and I've got to put things back where I got them from. <laughs> there it is. Chicken! <laughs> oh, I need a corner for the... That's not tall enough. This is the short one and the tall one. They'll go in there. Oh, it's not catching. So I need a corner. So I'm just basically going to cut that from corner to corner. I might have to trim a little bit off. No. Oh, look at that. Let's have spots. Yeah, we've got a lot of stripes. I do love stripes. You could always fast forward these bits if you don't want to watch me decorate. I'd hate to be, to be bored stupid. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right, let's see what we can use. We can have delicious on the top of that one. Pull that up a touch. Push this one down a touch and then have recipes. Just under the top like that. Perfect. How cute. So we've got chicken, delicious recipes, we've got a strip of eggs. I don't know what I would probably do timings there for the recipes on these cards. Let's have a look. I've got anything blue. Got a couple of little blue arrows here. Hard. Apparently, Graphic 45, I've got some new papers out. Uh, Christmas papers. It's a bit early for me to be thinking about Christmas, but if I get them in time, you never know. So, there is pages one, two, three, four. Five and six. We've got seven and eight to go. So this is seven. And I don't, I'm not sure what, what I do on this one. And I've added my recipe card. I know I want DSP down here. That was pockets. Where's the paper for the pocket? I'll sort that out later. Um, I do want some DSP here. Let's go and choose some other papers now that we haven't 
already used. So, we've got this gorgeous paper here. Oh, I like that. Love these pots and pans. Do you know what, right, in, you know, I'm doing a recipe book, but I don't know why I would pick flowers. So I like the tablecloth effect. I love the pots and pans. I adore these ladies in their aprons, and I love that pattern too. I love the knives and forks. I love the dots. I love these aprons. And I love the check as well. And I've got two of these, so I don't need to use that one. I've got plenty of that. So let's have these gorgeous aprons. So I need to strip them down there. So let me just test my tape measure. So that is three inches, so it's two and seven eighths by nine and three quarters, so nine and a half. So I want the nine and a half strip first because we're going down so I'll tell you what we'll do we'll do the two and seven eighths because I don't want to chop in and do it the wrong way and then nine and a half I want that going down there Perfect. And then I can have to check inside over on the other piece. But yes, so after this has finished, we'll start putting recipes up on a Friday. And I will fill this book. I will test out all your recipes, and if I love them, they go in the book. I'm not a cakey person. Mr. Boyce does our cake making. I do cake make. I make a gorgeous carrot cake. Well, the machine does all the work. I just put it all in. I just know why the right quantity is. And it comes out so light and so fluffy. It's unreal. Oh look, I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to trim the hand off. Perfect. Stunned for a second. Oh, I got a twinge. Yes, I'm waiting now for my hip surgeon to get send me an appointment out. Look at that, you might recipes down there. Recipes, love them. I actually, this is quite domed, so I could get several cards in there which I will print off later. Well, I'll put paper on. I've got loads of black. Oh. So this section is five and three quarters by three and a half. So three and a quarter. Love that paper by, did I say five and a half? Five and three quarters, so five and a half I need. Beautiful, check it. Perfect. Yeah, I 
decided to have my hips injected to see if it works because ugh, I can't wake up like I did yesterday again. Oh, it was horrendous. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. Love it. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look. How cute is that? Love it. Shake it up. I like. Why do I always like things at the top? Why can't we add something down the bottom again? That is so uber cute. I think it's, I'm getting covered in glue. I've got a really freezing cold cup of coffee. That page is done. I love that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Perfect. So now I've got to decide. Do I have half white and then half DSP? Yes, I think I might have to. So let's measure this out. Because we need a lip. So... Taking it to there is six. So if we do five and three quarters by five, I may have a piece here actually. Five and three quarters. Or maybe six. So there's that piece. I wasn't sure, that's why I left it blank, because I didn't know whether I wanted to add a recipe on this page, but I'm going to, and I'm going to add it down the bottom. Beautiful. So that is. I want to have something on there though. That is going to. Look nice. Bon appetit. And I line that down here. And. We're going to pick some gorgeous DSP. So I'm going to have this one. In fact, I'm going to have this one. So, five and three quarters, did I say? Uh, yes. down six sorry so if I have it over by a quarter of an inch or if I take it to three and three quarters that'd be perfect and it dresses that white card there. I like the gaps between them sometimes. You know, like, oh, a tiny little gap like that. But having this just slightly overlapping is good as well. Oh, it won't, you won't see it. I'll tell you what, I can't, it's going to do me head in. So we've got 
of red with balloon. So are we going to have the ladies? I think we are, you know. I do like that red though. Just see. I think I'm going to add that there. That is so sweet. Today's menu, take it or leave it. <laughs> I love that. So, we've got... Don't trust a skinny chef. Whisk things up. Today's menu on Bon Appetit. I love it. So we've just got the back to do now. Wow. So I put these cards. They need a strip at the top. And I've got a double-sided one there. So we're going to decorate the belly band and then we're going to decorate. But we only have to need we only need these strips going in because no one's going to see right under there, unless they poke the head in like that. <laughs> so let's pop that to one side for a minute. Let's get these strips sorted out. So that's not long enough. <laughs> but it will be in a moment. I just need to cut off at the end of that tile. Ah, I will get it right in the end. I think those stickers make all the difference. Why is that? Oh, oh stop it, don't even look, go away. I'm going to add, uh, I'm just going to leave the backs because I am going to use my gel pen to write recipes on there as well so it's not just going to be a journaling pen it's going to be a white gel pen as well because we can i've got scraps of papers with recipes on you know who know who cares that what's on there as long as it's on there so we're going to need dsp Not having the same as what I've got in there. Now, right, let's pick some more papers. Let's have. I want something with blue on. These measure. Okay, calm down, lady. Three inches, and they are both measure four and 
seven eighths. Oh, let's have that flower. It's blue. and seven-eighths. Small borders. Why did he choose blue when they got red on? I mind if that's shorter than the other one. Oh, crikey. Because I cut it shorter. Oh, I'm having a bleeding nightmare today, Gills. Get know what you're doing. <laughs> Skinny borders around sides, but got gaps there. So, all right, now I'm gonna do. I am gonna have one large piece on there. I am gonna tuck tuck it through. So nine and three quarters down to nine and a half by six and three quarters. Still got loads of paper left, so. Let's splash the boat out a little bit. And then we can start adding pages. This is the last one now. simpler way add in your papers slightly bigger border on this side but no one's going to notice once it's filled with all those gorgeous recipes so again I want to add a strip across the middle that's near on perfect
love these papers. They're just the sweetest I've seen. Looks straight to me, same again. more recipes. Four actually. Tuck that behind there. And you can't even see the DSP but you will when you take the recipe cards out. There we go. Double belly band. They go through there. And I'm going to have recipes on the back as well. Perfect. Doesn't that look really nice? So, I got a little... on there. Fabulous. I need something to go on here. Ah. I've got another spatula there. So we've got a whisk at the top and we've got a spatula. Just there. Perfect. And let's, why not? Kiss the cook. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. This is beautiful. I love that. I wish now I'd have mounted it on black, but I don't need to because it's got a black rim all the way around. So that's it. This is page uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's it. So we're done. We've got loads of paper left over. Oh my goodness. These are the larger bits. I never put a single recipe card in. Oh my goodness, I've got these little bits here as well. I've got all the recipe cards, so let me pop them in as we go along. So we've got all these bits to make something gorgeous with. Do you know what? We're going to do some more decorating after we've put them in, because we've got all them. I want to add the recipe cards. I've got all these cards I haven't added yet. There's loads. I want to add these in there. They've got Grandma's Special, Speciality, The Spatula, Divine, Top Secret, The Whisk, Holidays, Favourite Holidays, Ingredients. These can go on the inside because we haven't got any decoration yet. Ah, we've got to do the inside of our... So, that's the back. There's one in the middle. That's one of the other middles. This is the first page. We can work on decorating inside cupboard. La la la, love it. So I will get more corners out. I will have to do that after I've got my. And I've got to put all the pages in as well. Ooh, loads left to do still. So I'm just going to turn the camera off, but I'm coming straight back. Uh, I'm just going to nip to the ladies, <laughs> the little girl's room. And I'm going to wash my hand, get all this glue off as well. 
I'll join the video, so watch this space. I'm going to get a fresh cup of coffee, so I'll be back in a flash.